Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. I am so excited to make a video. I know it's been a couple of weeks. Uh, you saw the video that I made last, or if you have not, please make sure that you check it out. We had such a fun time uh, transforming Dana into Black China, so I want you to please check that out. been trying to do some changes as you can see to my background I'm gonna have a couple of other backgrounds my husband got me a new camera um, I've got some other changes that are coming up and it may be by the time this channel comes up but it will be coming soon and you'll see it and then I'll have a video explaining why but um, I am changing my name uh, from surviving beauty so that is something in the future that we'll talk about at a later date you know who wants to get up here and say hi to he's loving the camera and so he's got to get himself into it and see everybody it is um in case you all have a question on what camera it is it is the canon eos eos 70d um, the lens that i am using is the 50 mm so um i just have to really learn it and hopefully bring you better content uh you can really see the work that i'm doing uh either on myself or on clients so going to be really excited to make some videos uh, moving forward and that's about it um, this video today is on this look right here I'm using a lot of uh, affordable products um, affordable brushes um, I don't know if you've all heard of hot look I have the link below so go ahead and check them out but they always have morphe brushes um, on there and I was able to buy a set of where's the fourth one a set of four and I use all of these brush well all three three of these brushes three of the four brushes today and they're very inexpensive from more uh, from uh, Morphe brushes hot look you know we'll have like a sale like once every other month or once every couple months and you just kind of have to subscribe to them it's free to subscribe they send you notices when morphe is going to be up and just go ahead and shop but they always have like kevin aquan aquan on there um they have becca cosmetics on there um and it's they don't sell them every single month but they do have a time period where you can buy um that this video is not being sponsored they have no idea i'm talking about them but i just want to tell you how i get some affordable products but that is it i hope that you enjoy this video i am using a color pop um, eyeshadow this is in the color super no 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 it's a super shock eyeshadow but it's the color amaze and i'll show you in the video and i like to use my finger when i'm using this even on my clients i like to use my finger some products are affordable some are a little bit high end but i hope that you enjoy the video and make sure that you take care of your health and do your monthly rest check video is going to be a little blurry for 30 seconds please bear with me so we're going to get started with the tutorial and I'm going in with a La Femme blush it's in the color cinnamon I'm just putting that right through my crease with these Morphe brushes that I got off a of hot look that I was talking about it was a set of four from hot look now as you can see I'm really blowing out the eyeshadow I don't want it tightly in the crease I just want it kind of going in the crease and then up and then I'm going in with the elf shader brush this is a dollar brush and my smoked palette from Urban Decay I'm taking that light color right at the top there and just putting it right underneath the brow I'm going in next with ColourPop's eyeshadow in a maze and using that finger yes I love using my finger with these it really helps it to you know really get onto your lid and it sticks very very well there's a little bit of fallout but I really love using my finger and not really using much of a base just like painterly paint pot or groundwork paint pot underneath going back in with that Morphe brush just to kind of blend everything out very simple look as you can see I'm going in with this Mac brush this is the 212 brush from Mac and I'm going to be putting that cinnamon underneath the eyes just kind of brushing it through I'll be putting some black liner on after this
and this is the L'Oreal Black is Black gel liner. Absolutely love this gel liner. It is so Morphe angled liner brush. Not sure what number this is, but it's really easy to find on their website. I'm just lining my eyes underneath and then I will be winging my liner at the top now. Going in with this e.l.f. mascara. I'm sorry it didn't focus. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the only kind of thick packaging uh, mascara that they have. I got it offline. You can get it in Target as well. And then these um, lashes from eBay. The link is below to these lashes. You get like five pairs in a pack or six pairs for like two dollars or three dollars. They are the most awesome lashes. They look so good. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Batten Coreless in 355 Coconut. Love this foundation. It's probably one of my favorite foundations to wear. I am using another one of those Morphe brushes that set from Hot Look and just kind of blending that around my skin. It's almost the perfect match. I still have a little bit of my tan left from my vacation um, that I just got back from um, in this, uh, November. But still, I feel it's a pretty good match. Now I'm going in with my favorite concealer. This is the LA Pro Concealer. This actually is a color fawn, and I'm using another one of those Morphe brushes that's set from Hot Look. Again, the Hot Look link is in the down bar. And I'm going to be putting this under the eyes and, and down the center of the face. I usually blend this out with a beauty blender, but I just wanted to use the set of brushes that I have. So when I use brushes, I like to just kind of mist and set my, uh, or mist my face, I should say, with the mist and set spray from e.l.f. And then use that clean brush to just blend everything out. It just helps it to go really smooth. I don't usually spray my face if I'm using the sponge because the sponge is already wet. Now I'm going in with the Black Opal Foundation Stick. This is in blue. This is pretty dark, so in a second you're going to see me go over kind of underneath everything with my color in beautiful bronze and black opal. And this just helps to blend everything really nicely and I wanted this look to be very simple, clean. Um, so that's why I just want to make sure everything's blended out. I'm using my makeup brush set. The link is below to these brushes um, and just blend everything out. But I wanted the contour to be soft and not too much and that's why I used that color that matches my skin, beautiful bronze, to mix with this contour. Which is just, everything's kind of sped up but take your time when you're doing this. And then just using a brush I can't even remember what this brush is but they have so many of them like that but it looks like the brush that I use with the Morphe set and then this Soho sponge Soho London sponge you can get from Walmart or on eBay and just making sure everything's blended out going now in with the CoverGirl Ebony Bronze bronzer and this Zoeva brush it's like a contour brush it's kind of flat and straight I don't remember the number of it and just kind of blending everything. Now the CoverGirl bronzer, it, it, it is a bronzer, it's not for contour, but this is just kind of warming up the skin is what I'm doing. And then going over everything with a powder. This is a mixture of NYX powder as well as a Ben Nye powder and Topaz. This is Blush Baby Blush, and this is a Real Techniques blush brush, and just putting a nice simple flush of color, nothing too much, and this is my absolute favorite glow this is gold glow I love it it is from Stilla it is an eyeshadow but I just mix it all around and using this real technique 
brush from the core collection I got off of Amazon four brushes in the pack for like eleven twelve dollars absolutely love it and then I like to spray my face again when all the powder and everything is done just to kind of make sure everything is not too stark and pasty now this is Ruby Kisses lip pencil this is in the color espresso and then the um, ColourPop liquid lipstick and stingray absolutely love this liquid lipstick I wanted the liner to be a little darker so I go back in with current or current from Mac um, and just kind of darken everything and that pretty much is the look hope that you all enjoy hope you all let me know what you think about my new name I will have a video explaining why I decided to go ahead and change it from surviving duty kind of time to just let things go all right talk to you soon take care of your health do your monthly brush check I will always say that though see you soon <laughs>